Oh, Stewie, you look exhausted. Yeah, because I was up super late last night beefing your mom. My mom's dead. Yeah, because I beefed her to death. Oh, what's your problem? Why are you being such a jerk? I'm sorry, Brian. I had the absolute worst night. I had a weird dream. A frightening dream. Yeah, Stewie, that's called a nightmare. Sounds like you must have had your first one. That's what a nightmare is? I thought nightmare meant like being invited to an apartment party. Get a house if you want to have a party. I'm not going to a party in an apartment. Relax, it's no big deal. People have nightmares all the time. Oh no, Brian, I am not living through that horror again. In fact, I've decided that from this day forward, I shall never allow myself to fall asleep again. Come on, that's ridiculous. How do you think you're going to do that? I don't know, maybe I'll get a job working the night shift at a supermarket. Hey, where's the vegetable aisle? Yeah, right, it's 2 a.m. You're not here for vegetables. Well, I got the 12 cucumbers. What's wrong? Just this guy at the... Oh, never mind. Peter, we have a hamper. Stop throwing your dirty clothes in the toilet. Peter? Peter, where are you? What's all this? Oh, hey, Lois. Welcome to the Pete Pad, where the dancing's hot, the drinks are hot, Everything's just freaking hot. What have you done to the attic? Well, when I slept up here the other night, I realized what a great space it is. So I dragged up some stuff and turned it into a sweet hangout. Even made it extra awesome by stealing a real street sign. I don't understand. What are you going to do up here? Eh, mostly just burn the roof of my mouth on unevenly heated microwave burritos. Now I'm busy, so close the floor and get out of here. <laughs> Come on, Stewie. You've got to stay awake. I know it'll help. I'll watch that preview channel that always has inconsistent volumes. They're mother and daughter, but also best friends. Catch Gilmore Girls on Channel 367. You can name your own price for hotel rooms! strange obsession with eating pencil erasers. It's not an obsession. Mm, mm, oh, yeah. Mm, so rubbery. Mm, it's like a little steak. Mm, mm. Brian, you really should... The world is small and safe when I do this! Okay, Stewie, I read the review of a dream book on Amazon, so I think I can help you. Literally every other tab is open to lusty matures. Yep, that's what it takes now. Anyway, it says here that most nightmares are born of subconscious fears. So maybe if we make a list of the things you're most afraid of, we can face and conquer these fears together, and then your nightmares will end. Huh, that's actually a good idea. Like the U.S. Army Reserves. We're completely surrounded! We need reinforcements! You know who could really bail us out? Somebody who works five days a week at Enterprise Rent-A-Car! <laughs> are pretty great, Peter. Hey, I brought construction paper and markers in case you guys want to draw a glass. Cool. Okay, who's up for another insulation fund? Oh, heck yeah! <laughs> gotcha! That's me! doesn't have to take out the trash coupon that I got for my anniversary. You gave that to yourself. I don't know. It says official. Forget it. I'll do it myself. This whole attic business is ridiculous. Hey, guys. Check it out. I'm a lady. All right, Stewie. Time to tackle your fears. Now, it sounds like you're scared of monsters. So to help you get over it, here's Frankenstein. Uh, I'm Frankenstein. I'm actually really nice. There's no need to be scared of me. Uh. Seriously? 
This is obviously Chris in a costume. Huh, well that can't be possible, because here comes Chris walking in the door right now. Hey, 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 here comes Chris Griffin, a rudely toot toot. Yeah, okay, whatever, Meg. Meg? You must be talking about me, a rudely toot toot. Do they all say a rudely toot toot? A lot of them, yeah. Chris, I'm putting together a load of laundry. You got anything? <laughs> Damn it, Peter! Are you guys playing lawn darts in the attic again? No. Yay! Lawn darts! Peter wins lawn darts! She's dumb. She got no idea. <sighs> Alright, Peter, that's enough. It is time to get out of... What the hell? Oh, yeah, we put Joe in Stewie's old jolly jumper. You told me this is a paratrooper's harness. Shut up, baby man. That's it. This is now a home, not some frat house for you and your friends. Now, I want you out of this attic now. No way. We ain't leaving. We're having too much fun up here. Quagmire just showed us his Eric McCormick impression. There could be no such thing. Well, that's what I said, but then he did it, and I was like, oh, all right, okay, yeah, kind of. Fine. You like the damn attic so much? Then enjoy the attic. <laughs> Did she just lock us in here? It looks like it. Guys, yeah, spin me back. I didn't see what happened. So, how'd it go last night? Did we cure your nightmares? No, not at all. They were worse than ever. Which is why I built this. <laughs> what the hell is that? The digital dream interface. You see, once connected to this device, you will be able to enter my sleeping mind, where you will end these horrible dreams once and for all. I'm gonna do what? What? What does he want? What is he saying? I think he's saying a rudely toot toot. We just can't understand him because of the way he talks. Oh, no, no, I think he just needs a ride home. I'm very serious. You and I will place these powerful impulse receptor caps on our heads. No, no, don't say it like that. And once you're in my dream, your job is to stop these nightmares.